the latest about the uh, volcano in Iceland erupting. Houses are burning as the new volcanic eruption threatens Atlantic village of Grindavik. This is the uh, new volcano eruption today, close to the evacuated village of Grindavik. This is uh, five hours ago. This image is from Five Hours News. Houses caught fire after a new volcanic eruption set smoke and lava spewing out near the Icelandic fishing port of Grindavik. Today, Sunday, hours after villagers were evacuated to safety, authorities said, it was the North Atlantic nation's fifth volcanic eruption in under three years. The most recent occurred just weeks ago in December 18 in the same region, southwest of the capital of Reykjavik. At least two houses were seen engulfed in fire on live images broadcast by public television RUV. The blaze then spread from one home to the other. In the little village like this one, we're like a family, they said. We all know each other as family. It's tragic to see this. Local resident Sven Ari Gudjonsson told AFP. It's unreal. It's like watching a film, added a 55-year-old who works in the fishing industry. The first eruption began at 8 a.m. today, Sunday. Then a crack opened in the ground around 450 meters from the town. A second crack then opened around midday at the edge of the town with that lava engulfing the homes. Jets of glowing orange lava flowed out and a huge smoke cloud rose against the dark sky. Iceland's president, Gudni Johansson, was to address the nation at 8 p.m. No lives are in danger, he wrote on X, formerly Twitter, but infrastructure may be under threat, he wrote, adding that airline flights had not been affected. Most of the 4,000 strong population of Grindavik had been evacuated as a precaution back in November 11, after scientists said the tunnel of magma was shifting beneath them. A series of small earthquakes, sometimes hundreds per day, created large cracks in roads, homes, and buildings. And shortly after the December 18 eruption, residents were allowed to return for brief periods. They were authorized to regain their homes permanently on December 23rd, but only a few dozen chose to go back. The geothermal power plant, late on Saturday, authorities had ordered an emergency evacuation to be completed by Monday due to growing seismic activity and its impact on the large cracks already present in the town. Authorities accelerated evacuation order overnight when seismic activity intensified. After Friday, officials are keeping a close eye on the nearby Svartsengi geothermal plant, which provides electricity and water to the 30,000 residents of Reykjanes Peninsula. Workmen have been building a wall to protect the facility since November. Until March 2021, the Reykjanes Peninsula had not experienced an eruption for eight centuries. Fresh eruptions occurred August 2022 and July and December 2023, leading volcanologists to say it was probably the start of a new era of activity in the region. Four days after the December 18 eruption, authorities said volcanic activity had stopped, but they could not declare the eruption over because there was still a possibility of underground lava flow. Iceland is home to 33 active volcano systems, the highest number in Europe. It straddles the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a crack in the ocean floor separating the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates. There's a mantle plume under there, as we know. This is from fizz.org. Please leave your comments and uh, thank you for, for your support. And this is by Jeremy Richard. Thank you. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.